Eating better is easier with Koo produce. Homegrown from our plus to your plate. Koo uzotwala. Fresh produce grown right here in Mzanzi. Hey, we got you. Packed and packed at its prime from our plus to your plate. Making eating better as easy as adding color to your plate. With Koo's range of vegetables and fruit. Uzotwala. Get Koo. As we said to make eating better, easier. Color your plate with Koo. My name is Lisa Matilidi. I am 24 years old. I'm from Boxburg in the East Rand and I'm a baker and I'm a food content creator on Instagram. My name is Angel Sitole. I'm from Johannesburg. I'm a professional cook and I work for a private bank in Johannesburg. My name is Sasha. I'm a self-employed, stay-at-home mom from Pretoria. I'm a trendy, exciting cook and love it. My name is Nelson Mobo. I'm 21 years old. I'm studying in the International Hotel School in Cape Town doing pastry. My name is Ilham Banabai Anwar. I'm from Cape Town and I'm a culinary lecturer at the Cape Town Hotel School. Welcome to the next group of the cooking stars in the making. Now you're all fighting for your spot in the next round and only one of you will make it through today's cooking challenge. And if you make it all the way to the end, our season two winner will walk away with their share of 500,000 Rand in cash and prizes. Wow. 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 <laughs> now this is how it will work. You'll have one hour to color your plate using today's hero ingredient. Today you have to color your plate using cool pill charts. <gasps> Wow. Okay. Pilchards. I have no idea what to prepare with these pilchards. The good thing about Koo Pilchards is that they are high in omega-3 fatty acids, making them great for heart wellness. Now, we want to see you making something interesting using an everyday ingredient. We're looking for delicious food. Something that looks great on the plate and that's well balanced. And to help us to make that decision, please meet today's guest judge. My name is Rushta, also known as Rushtush. I'm a mom of four boys and I'm a fitness entrepreneur. My love for cooking, I think, recently has been a more so magnified by my previous pregnancy. So every single time I am pregnant, there's specific cravings that I want. And they can only be found in the cooking of my past, my childhood, or a dish that someone that I remember has made what I'm going to be looking for today as a judge would be flavor. And I want to see color, I want to see vegetables. I don't only want to see beige and brown. She's one of my favorite Instagram influencers. I love her, she's so cool. Thanks for having me, Ruben and Arthur. I'm so excited to try all this food today. Finally, I can judge someone else's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> for some inspiration, Ruben has created a special dish using cool pill charts in a creative way. I'm mind blowing wow. seeing Chef Ruben's dish. It's giving me ideas. I've created my version of pilchards on toast. So we have uh, the toast, which is basically a pop with some cheese on it, Parmesan cheese crisped up nicely. The pilchards nicely roasted in the oven. Okay, and on top there's a warm salsa using some broccoli, some cashew nuts, uh, there's some capers on, in there as well, some lemon juice and olive oil. Come a little bit closer and have a taste. I can't believe it's bullshit. I like it. The texture is amazing. I think the idea is to think of bullshit differently to yeah. maybe just adding it into a stew. Um, yes. This it's possible to well. use it in a different way. Yeah. Now that you guys are feeling inspired, let's cook some delicious yeah. food. Yeah. They didn't know actually what to prepare, but now that I've seen Ruben's dish, voila. You have one hour on the clock to create your masterpieces. And this lovely fully stocked pantry will be available to you throughout the hour. It's almost time to cook. Are you all ready? Yes! yes. Ready, steady, colour your plates. <laughs> my love for cooking started at a really young age. I grew up watching my nanima, which is my grandmother, and my mother cooking in the kitchen. And I just wanted to get involved, even if it was just stirring the pot. I'm making a fruity couscous and because we don't have any couscous I'm using cauliflower as my replacement so it's going to be a really nice healthy gluten-free dish. 
My mom is a very good cook. When I grew up, I like, okay, this is what I want to do. So that's where my love for cooking comes from. I'm just gonna make a mesh with pictures and a vegetable steak on the side. Food was always something important in the household, so it reminds me of family, gatherings, friends. I think my ultimate love language is food and sharing food. Um, today I'll be making for you some fish croquettes using the pole charts and then my vehicle is going to be a flatbread along with a salsa for some freshness and hummus, some creaminess and a nice little tartar sauce just to bring out that fish flavour from the pole charts. I've been married for 17 years and for the first 15 years of my marriage my husband's been cooking and for the past two years he's been working far away at a mine and my kids were like no we don't want toast anymore mom make something lacquer so i started using crew in my cooking and creating awesome dishes today i'm making a chakalaka portrait lasagna with a baked parmesan basket filled with broccoli and cheese the love of food came from my mom when i was a young teenager i loved baking i'm destined for this no matter what it takes, and I gave it a chance. I'm gonna be doing pilchards. Pilchards cottage pie with a corn plus avocado salad. Stand a chance to win a seat at the finale table and on the judging panel. To enter, cook up a nutritious meal using Ku's weekly hero ingredient. Head to Ku's social media channels and post your photo, the meal description, and hashtag color your plate with Ku in the comments. Enter now, T's and C's apply. You don't have to be lucky to make Ku Pilch at the star. Rich with omega 3 and good for heart wellness. Mzanzi favorite made by Mzanzi's finest. Ku Uzotwala. Shia Ma Combo Fast Fast, cool mixed veg seasoned and tasty combinations in Je, picked and packed at its prime from our plus to your plate. Color your plate with cool. I was nervous before, but now I'm just having a good time. I'm running around, yes, it's a bit hectic, but I'm enjoying myself. The nerves are gone. Hi, Angel. How are you doing? I'm good on yourself. Good, thanks. So I'm told that you cook at the bank. Yes. So that must mean you're quite economical with your cooking methods. Yes, <laughs> yes, we try. <laughs> what pilchas are you using? Are you using the hot or the one in tomato sauce? No, the hot one. The hot one? Yes, because I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Are you going to bake it in the in, in Yes, the I'm going to bake it. Oh, so yes. the reason why you're separating it from the sauce is that yes. you want to bake it yes, in Yes, it's there. because I want to bake it in the oven. Okay. Yes. okay. That sounds really good. Thanks, Angel. Thank you, Angel. Nelly, so I see you chopping away potatoes. There are oh, lots of potatoes. Oh, too much. <laughs> what are they for? <laughs> They're for the mash for my cottage pie. Cottage I'm pie. I'm trying to chop them. Tiny so that they're gonna cook fast. Because I normally just put the chunks in the in the water, like the whole potato. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it takes it time. Better. I spend too much time cutting the potatoes, and I almost been probably 15 minutes. It was over my hour that I was given, and it wasted a lot of time for me. I'm expecting your cottage pie to be back to perfection. Yes, it will. It's gonna be mouth watering. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening here? There's I... a lot happening. There, there is a lot. Yeah. I'm just trying to get all my components for my dish ready um, so that I can assemble it later on. Okay. Thank um, you. And I also see that you have the two cans open. How are you going to use the yes. pilchards? Yes. So um, I took two cans because I wanted to make sure that I get more fish than sauce in there. So I'm going to just debone um, the pilchards and then I'm going to use the tomato sauce that it's in to kind of make like a chutney. Mm, yeah. With wow. some onion and some pepper juice. I see pepper juice, yeah. yeah. Love it. Um, that's going to be served with this. Okay. Okay. Looks good. My chutney, I'm using the tomatoes from the pilchards for the base of my sauce and I'm also adding in some coriander, some garlic and some pepper juice that I'm blitzing up into a fine puree. Contestants, we've reached the halfway mark. You've got 30 more minutes to go. Yeah! Let's go. Time is flying at the moment. I've broken down my fish and I've reserved some of the bones for my vinaigrette for the salsa. We're missing the bones. The I've calcium observed... is being lost. No, <laughs> What's I've reserved happening? some bones for the vinaigrette just oh. to add a little bit of crunch as well. And then in here I'm making a hummus oh, with lovely. cream chicken. So it's like a Mediterranean style. It's French, Mediterranean, oh, Mexican, so global. Asian. Do you think they'll complement each other? Definitely. I've chosen elements that really hero fish and seafood in general. 
so I want to pick up that pilchard flavor. Okay, I must say, you know, it's already smelling good here. Good luck. Thank you so much. <laughs> I chop the onions and the garlic into a skillet on medium heat and I add chakalaka pieces. And then I use ku pulchards with chili and I add it to the skillet for a few minutes just to absorb all that flavor with some seasoning. Hi, Sasha. Hi. So apparently you've learned how to cook on TikTok. Yes, <laughs> yes, my doctor was just showing me. Mom, look at this, make this. Do you think you have enough time to also bake your lasagna? Yes, okay. yes. Because of my preparations, I'm going to have enough time. Yeah. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. On TikTok, they make it look so easy. Folding the lasagna sheets and then my dish was not the right size. So my, the overlapping didn't work very well. There's challenges, but you just have to make it work. So cottage pie? Yeah, right, How long must you... You know, before it goes into the oven. I think in the so oven you need about 15 minutes, actually 20 max. Yes, sir. There's less yes. than 20 minutes left. Uh, okay. just done mashing it right yeah. now. No more extra stuff. Now you might just get the okay, cottage sure. pie in the oven. Ruben's advice is really helpful because I did pick some point and it made me to change some few things on my meal. Oh, no, 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 no. So what's happening there? My sauce reduced too much. Oh, no. So how are you going to then correct it? So I just added some uh, more tomato from the tinned um, pulchards to see if I can hopefully get it back to the right consistency that I wanted. Okay. I've saved it, I've tasted it, and I hope it's going to be good enough for the judges. Ladies, you have 10 minutes left. Ten minutes, guys. No time for second guessing. You gotta push now. Yes. My pictures are as crispy as I wanted them to be. Now I have plenty of time to even plate, so I'm on time. So the idea is, if you can get that in the oven like quick, quick, then you can maybe ten minutes to work on your little side, ne? Yes, chef. Okay. Do that now. Is the egg in there? Not yet. I'm gonna put it now. By now, there's less than 10 minutes to go. That thing needs to be in the oven. She still wants to make a salad. It makes me nervous. The cottage pie is on the oven, and I don't think there's enough time to cook it. I wanted to have like a flaky bread, but unfortunately, time is not on my side, and I can't laminate the dough the way I wanted to. So it's just going to be a regular shmegula naan. Making my own bread was a little bit ambitious. Making a flaky bread was overly ambitious. So I've had to now readjust and stick to a plain naan flat bread, and hopefully that will make it onto the plate. It's five minutes left. I'm taking the top layer off because it's not cooked. And I'm going to just add some more cheddar and put it back in the oven to cook for these last five minutes and just cross fingers. Contestants, two minutes left. Two minutes to go. Come on, guys. Two, two, two. Time to get the food on the plate. No more time to waste. Come on. I'm start plating my dish. I don't know what I'm doing. I just need to get all of my elements on. from your plate. Stop cooking. No. Hi. Hi. I'm stressed. <laughs> it's now. I guess we are ready to taste some delicious food? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's go. Stand a chance to win a seat at the finale table and on the judging panel. To enter, cook up a nutritious meal using Ku's weekly hero ingredient. Head to Ku's social media channels and post your photo, the meal description, and hashtag color your plate with Ku in the comments. Enter now. T's and C's apply. You don't have to be lucky to make Ku pilch at the start. Rich with omega-3 and good for heart wellness. Mzanzi favorite made by Mzanzi's finest. Ku Uzotwala. For overall improved well-being, put that special something into any meal with Koo Beetroot. Picked and packed at its prime from our plus to your plate. Color your plate with Koo. There were some beautiful aromas coming out of uh, the dishes that they were cooking. <laughs> some of them just made it in time. Yeah, it was very stressful. 
we all love pilchards. It's something that we grew up eating and seeing how, you know, the contestants today have approached the challenge. I can't wait to taste. Yeah. So are we ready to have the first dish? Yes. Yeah. Looking at my plate, I'm happy with what I've made. I had a really good time in the kitchen, despite the time just flying by. I've prepared for you pilchard croquettes along with hummus, salsa, and a flatbread on the side. Mm. Thanks, Thank Lizzie. you so Thank much. You. I hope that I've heroed the cool pilchards in a way that is very creative and out of the box. And I hope everyone watching at home will give it a go and maybe even do a better job than I did. I love this dish. Uh, I think mm. the flavors in here are an absolute mm. revelation. She spiced it also beautifully. A really, really clever way of incorporating the, the pilchards in here. Mm. She definitely knew what she was doing. So we taste uh, the next one. Yep. I'm walking to the judges and I'm so proud of myself. For someone who's only been cooking for the past two years and look where I've gotten to, I've accomplished, I'm really, really just proud of myself. So what did TikTok teach us today? <laughs> this is a chakalaka, okay. pulchered lasagna bake, served with a parmesan baked basket filled with broccoli, cheese, salad. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you so very much. I hope the judges like the flavouring and my attempt with the parmesan baskets. She did tell me she was going to do the lasagna where she'll do the filling and then she'll kind of fold it over like that all the time. So it's almost like there's a bit too much pasta in there. Mm. Nice bites in the filling, there's a bit of spice in there. I would have liked some more of the pulchard filling in there. The salad on the other side, I actually quite didn't like it. Broccoli is always like really refreshing and crunchy, especially when it's have a draw. The crown, which was the mayo, didn't really add much. Maybe a different mm. kind of, you know, dressing would have actually helped. Definitely, mm. I agree. I agree with that. Let's taste the next one. I'm feeling nervous again, walking with my foot to the churches because I don't know what was their expectation and I don't know how are they going to feel after tasting my food. It's a mashed potatoes with sweet corn, pilchards, and then vegetable steak on the side. Nice. And the green? It's the peas puree. Pea puree? Yes. Oh, lovely. Oh, thank, thank you. you Angel. Thank you, Angel. I don't know what are they going to say, what is the judgment, but at the end of all, I'm, I enjoyed myself. I'm loving the mash with the chili in the pilchards, and the vegetable stack is quite a nice idea. The pilchards. It almost dried out a little bit for me, tiny bit, mm. but that sauce really saved it. I think it's a perfectly executed plate because she has all the elements that we'd want to see on colour your plate. Let's taste the next one. I am proud of myself. I really worked hard, even though it was short of time, but I managed to do it and finish the plates. I'm happy with my work. Lilisa, you got us all stressed there at the finish. Uh, tell us what happened. Yo, it was the potatoes. You know, when you came in, I'm happy to see you smiling again. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm feeling nervous. But whatever comes, I'll take it and I won't give up. I'll carry on. I think that sort of ratio of the potato and the, that pulchard sort of mix at the bottom, I think that could have been done a little bit better. Mm, I agree with that. Uh, I think the cottage pie does work, but I'm not sure what the side salad or the salsa is bringing actually into the dish. If it had a little dressing going on there, then it would have worked maybe. It's just, I think again, uh, a timing thing and, and not being able to finish in time. Can we have the next dish? Mm. I'm really excited for Rooster to eat my food. I hope that it's glow cleanse worthy enough for her. I made a cauliflower couscous that's got some toasted almonds and cranberries and some fried onions that I did in some cumin and a tomato and pepper dew chutney with pan fried pilchards and a avocado and pineapple salsa. Wow. It's one thing when you're cooking for your family, but Reuben Riffle is going to eat my food. I can't get over that. This is like quite a lot of texture going on, but in a good way. I love that she used that little cranberry in the collie couscous, the nuts. Now, pulchards can be quite a strong flavour and somehow she managed to to really balance all those flavours so you can pick up all the different elements on the plate. I, I would have liked some more of that chutney though. It really gives a nice mouthfeel and I just liked it. It's definitely something on my cooking agenda for the week. Right guys, we've got some decisions to make. Mm, very tough decisions. It's not going to be easy. Let's do it. 
Oh, I'm feeling nervous. I don't know if it's butterflies or full-blown whale in my stomach. I hope I get chosen, but if I don't, I'm still very proud of myself. I cannot wait any longer to find out the results. From the judges, I just have to say thank you very much for sharing your talent with us. We were really impressed by all the flavors that we experienced today. And I think you all deserve a warm round of applause. Sasha, yes. your dish was lovely. Thank you. It was flavorful, it was colorful, it was different, and we did enjoy it. Thank you so much. Bilem, uh, cauliflower couscous flavored really nicely, some beautiful textures in there. I was just hoping to get some more of that chutney under there. I think that really worked well with the dish. Lesero, you gave your dish a lot of thought. You combined and layered totally different flavors and used uh, pilchas the most creative way. Overall, your dish, I think, would have loved a bit of more vegetables. But yeah, really great dish. Thank you. Nelizua, cottage pie. What a great idea. There was glimpses of real deliciousness, but the fact that you just didn't finish it, I think that just counted against you a little bit. Angel, we really love the vegetable stack. It was a nice inclusion of veggies, the, the green cream um, around the plate was delicious. Everything was lovely. Uh, well done. Thank you. Now these decisions are never easy and I think today it was actually made even extra difficult for us to make that decision. Under the cloche is the plate of the winning contestant. Rushta, will you do the honours? I'd love to. And the winner is... The <laughs> Well, there's more. One other person also impressed us so much and we felt that contestant must also go through to the next round. And that contestant is... Ilham. I can't believe that that's my plate. To the both of you, congratulations for winning today's challenge. And as the winners, you walk away with a hamper worth 5,000 Rand from Ku. Congratulations, well done. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you in the next round. Woo! Going into the next challenge, the lessons and tips I'm going to take from this challenge is less is more. I'm really going to bring my A-game and my skills and hope that that's enough. Next time on Color Your Plate with Ku, five more contestants must pull out all the stops to impress the judges and earn a spot in the next round. Featuring the return of season one guest judge, media personality and social media star, La Cizwe. Just add color to your plate with Ku's range of fruit and vegetables. Eating better has never been easier. Another feel-good production.